Yulva, along with Ingward and another unnamed sorcerer, is one of the three sealers of New Londo, which is a nice way of saying they drowned everyone in the city when it became clear the abyss in the Dark Race there could not be contained. Before this, they were healers. Yulva was a healer in Blighttown, which would have benefited greatly from her services as her special healing spell was Remedy, which heals poisons and toxins. Serving as a healer in such a poor area, I think it's safe to speculate she really cared about helping and healing people. New Londo was a tragedy, but it had to be exceptionally devastating to a person who had dedicated herself to saving lives, but was then forced to take so many. This leads into one of my biggest questions about New Londo. Why would healers be chosen to perform this task? And how exactly did they even flood the city? I've seen a few good theories out there figuring out the logistics of how they could run all the water into the city but I would like to add one that answers both of my questions and some I have about the Sealer's punishment. The animation for casting Remedy begins with what looks like a splash of water before the sparkles. There are two other spells with this animation, Resist Curse and Fall Control. Resist Curse ties directly back to Ingward, while Fall Control is a looser connection to the third Sealer. The third unnamed Sealer appears to have ditched his mask and joined Lotric's gank squad. The interesting thing is all three of them have had Fall Control cast on them. Although there is probably some runway to make the case that this third sealer is a certain surreptitious sorcerer, I believe just tying him to the spell is enough to serve my purpose here. My theory is the following. These three spells seem to be water-based. Having all three sealers tied to what seems to be a rare form of magic shows that they may have a talent or specialization in water-based magic. Part of this skill may have allowed them the ability to move or conjure a large amount of water. These three healers may have been chosen to seal New Londo because they had the magical ability to flood the city. The city, while holding water quite well, was definitely not entirely watertight. Perhaps the point of making the sealer stick around 100 feet from the floodgate instead of destroying the key or keeping it with the Lord Vessel was because they would be needed to keep the place topped off. Their punishment for making the impossible decision to drown the city was to watch over it and keep the four kings and their dark wraiths sealed forever. The beaked masks they wear serve as the symbol of their commitment to this duty, and their design seemed to take some inspiration from Plague Doctors. Ingward stuck around, but the other two, including Yulva, forsook Nulando as they tired of their duty. I don't think she ever gave up on seeking atonement for all who were sacrificed, though. It seems more likely she sought a more impactful penance. After all, how many sorcerers does it take to hold a key? Wouldn't a better way to repent for taking so many lives before their time be to use her talents to prevent the deaths that she can? No doubt, her actions in Ulando deeply affected her, likely leaving her grieving. She returned to Blighttown to continue her work there. I believe she returned as a wounded healer, but since she never ditched her mask, I don't think she ever gave up on her mission for atonement, and I think she believed Ingward could handle keeping the city sealed on his own. She would die there, effectively trading her immortality for the sick of Blighttown.